He says, oh, by the way, this is on Tom. I go, what do you mean? He goes, yeah, Tom's buying you this drink. He texted me to send you over a drink. Hey there, it's the weekly pregame, and it's nothing but an OG thing, baby, with the Real Housewives of New York City's Ramona Singer, the Real Housewives of Orange County's Vicki Gunvalson, and Shahs of Sunset's Reza Farahan to get us ready for what's to come this week on Bravo. And of course, I've got your game of the week. I don't care about the working up. I see one more damn working out on my show. I'm like, <laughs> 10 years later, and these ladies still know how to bring the heat this week on the Real Housewives of New York City reunion, part one. I mean, really, Bethany? You've Ramona. been terrible to me. Don't say a fake with your fake tits. Ramona. Nope. <laughs> so I talked to Ramona, stinger singer, and she told me how Bethany hasn't really supported her this season. I'm at Dorinda's uh, Halloween party, and she says to me, don't talk to me until you become a success. I mean, all of us women on the show were very successful before we even did the show. Right. Um, Bethany became successful because of the show. But do you and Bethany kiss and make up? Listen, it's either Bethany's way or no way. Bethany's Bethany. I think the viewers see her for what she is, so she is what she is. Watch Ramona sting like a bee Wednesday on The Real Housewives of New York City. And coming up, the OG of the OC. Well, now that Shannon and Kelly are single, do you have any dating advice for them? Don't date a con man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. I would have callers call in. I met at my puzzle. You know what? Give him a blowjob, it'll be all better. <laughs> <laughs> and quiet down. How about you coconut go on for? Tell my husband to throw Gina out. Because Vicky and Gina have got a few things to say this week on The Real Housewives of Orange County. There's nothing that I did at that party that nobody else was doing. No, I So agree. in that exact I... situation, if anyone owes anyone an apology, your husband would owe me an apology. So I caught up with Vicky Gunvalson at the Watch What Happens Live green room, and she let me know how loud Gina really is. Gina is loud. I was sitting next to her like, oh, dial it down. Is it a New Yorker thing, do you think? I, we just loud? I just think she's just loud. I, I don't know. I think she thinks people aren't hearing her. I'm like, we, we got it. Do you think it was rude of Emily's husband to kick Gina out? He might have just been frustrated with the loud voices at 10, 10, 30, 11, and they got kids upstairs sleeping, and like, time to go home. All right, that's fair. We don't know the circumstances. So I'm going to stick up for Shane on that one, but I don't know the, really what happened. I'm hearing two sides, and somewhere in the middle there's the truth. See Vicky run sh Mondays on The Real Housewives of Orange County. Okay, if good. you will give us the baby, we can work it out. I will be happy to be your donor. Shut the f up. Sure, no problem. Well, I wanted to talk about Shaws of Sunset, Reza Farahan wanted to talk about Roni, and a certain countess in particular. What would be your advice to Luann? Luann? My advice to Luann would be like, sweetie. Sweetie. I know you're a man-eater, <laughs> but if your friend has a picture right. of the dude that you're f***ing, making out with someone else, maybe don't marry him. OK, Reza, tell us the truth. Did you or did you not have sexual intercourse with MJ? This was over 20 years ago. OK, OK. We did hit it on my mother's soul. But that's not what MJ said. I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> <laughs> or that, and by woman, she no... means Reza. And how was it? It was good. Very juicy. <laughs> <laughs> like, very juicy. And finally, I get to see a lot at the weekly pregame, and sharing is caring. So we want to leave our <laughs> of the week right here. I have a problem with the new girls because they've been watching Right. The episodes for 13 years, and they think they have to come in like a know it all and bossy and loud. And the truth of the matter is, no, you have to win me over. That's it for this season of the weekly pregame. Don't worry, we'll be back in a few weeks with a fresh batch of exclusives from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Vanderpump Rules, and plenty more. Until then, don't pregame without me.